So I'm going to go over what I use to discover new technologies and just stay up to date with the developer community in general. So these are the top three sites that I use and read pretty much every single day and spend about 20 minutes or so with. So the first one is called Hacker News. Now this site is what I get for my tech slash startup news uh, kind of mixed together. Um, and so what it is is users post content on here and then it's upvoted. So these are the top voted links. Of course, there's like an algorithm with time that goes in there as well. Um, and what this is, is it's a mix between, and you can kind of see what the links are here. It's a mix between some mainstream media stuff, uh, people's blogs, maybe GitHub, um, and then also like company announcements and whatnot. Here we can see something from Slack HQ, an apology, um, and you can kind of see what's going on. And now you can kind of click on these different articles and read the top articles if you want to. I'll sometimes read some of the articles, but what I actually do more than reading the articles on Hacker News is reading the comments. And I actually find this is where I get the most value out of Hacker News, is the discussions in the comments are actually pretty good. Um, and a lot of times you're going to get experts that know what they're talking about and you can get a lot of value out of. Um, so this is the home page of Hacker News, and that's pretty much what's going on here. Um, if you click on this show, this is a different section, and so there's different type of content here. Here is where people are basically uh, displaying projects that they just created or either showing their little startup that they made, um, and you can kind of see new things that are being released by people. And again, you can comment, see what other people think about it. You can get feedback. So for example, you can post your project here and see what other hackers think about it. And then this section I really like as well, and I like all three of these sections uh, a lot. And this last section is called Ask, um, and this one is about basically people just ask questions. And you can see what the Hacker News community thinks about it or what they uh, have an opinion on that subject. And so this one I really enjoy as well. And you can kind of get some in-depth stuff about uh, like these type of questions. You can kind of see the community, what they think. And you don't see this in a lot of places, so I really like that. Uh, after that, I'll usually check Reddit. Now for me, I pretty much get the, same, the most value from the programming subreddit. Uh, this has some overlap with Hacker News, um, but it's got a different vibe going on with it. Um, and then after that, programming humor, absolute must. And then you can kind of, both uh, the programming subreddit and Hacker News are kind of general tech and aren't specific to like a programming language or something. Uh, you can on Reddit, I am subscribed to some like actual programming languages, Python, React, and then also like some frameworks, so like React, GraphQL. Um, I don't know if I'm actually subscribed to JavaScript or not, uh, but usually those are kind of smaller and more focused on like people asking questions, so it's a different type of vibe. But I like I'm getting a mix of both, so you can kind of get a nice mix of that on Reddit uh, and get a vibe of what's going on. So yeah, this is what I'm on. I currently use for Reddit right now. Uh, I might remove CS career questions. I don't need it as much anymore. This is kind of interesting if you're interested in uh, career stuff and also uh, kind of like more college-oriented CS. And then web development is pretty decent as well. Um, and then learn programming in Python, I, I've been using less these days. But in general, you can kind of see there's a good, uh, there's a lot of different subreddits you can follow. Uh, and then lastly uh, is Twitter. So Twitter is requires that the most work and I pretty much spend the least time here I would say at this point uh, but it's pretty it can be decent so here's the strategy that I kind of employ on Twitter is the type of news I'm interested in I will search up so for example I'm interested in following what's going on with react.js that framework so what I'll do is I'll search the hashtag or I'll search it and then I'll just click on the people and so here we'll see all the people that are related to React.js, and then you can actually just follow these people and find out updates of what's going on with them. And so this is what I'll pretty much do. I'll pick a technology that I want to stay up to date on, and then I'll just follow some of those people. Um, and what I'll do is I, I try to like be strict about Twitter and unfollow things that I don't want. Um, and you kind of have to tune your, your Twitter list because there's a lot of, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. There's a mix of a lot of like extra stuff that's super unimportant, but there are some gems in Twitter which you just do not get out of Hacker News or Reddit, and it's kind of more uh, directly from a person versus 
Reddit and Hacker News are more of oriented blog post style. Um, so that's pretty much what I use every day. There's two other ones that I've started uh, using a little bit um, and that I am kind of bringing into my regimen more. The first one is Spectrum. So they have different communities that you can follow. So I visit the React and the GraphQL one the most and you can kind of see what people are talking about um, in this. And it's a mix of like questions and basically how would I do this sort of thing um, and then posts and new libraries. And then lastly is Dev2. This is, I have used the least, um, but it's, it's kind of interesting. It's a mix of kind of like posts as well. Um, and it's a different style, uh, but again, this one I haven't actually spent too much time with, so I don't know how much I'm gonna like it. But this one is what I'm, if I have a little extra time, I go to and kind of check out what's going on. So that's pretty much what I use. I'm curious what you guys use or any recommendations of other sites that you like to visit to kind of stay up to date and learn these new things that are coming out.